Hello everyone. Today we will cover the second part of uh, KPA performance and uh, performance management. So in the second part I am going to give you a brief idea about all the KPIs starting from accessibility, retainability, integrity, mobility and availability. Then we will move forward uh, with uh, optimization workflow, how the optimization happens, the process of optimization. We will move towards uh, the accessibility KPIs, the formula of accessibility KPI and uh, we will see um, the total accessibility process, how it happens in UTRAN. Moving forward we will be also covering the accessibility uh, KPI phase how to analyze it and uh, all the failure reasons what is the cause of uh, accessibility failure so let's go one by one starting from uh, the different kind of KPIs so we are having accessibility KPI which ensures uh, you know the user uh, to be ab able to access to the network moving for retainability which is used to continue the connection with the network until all tasks task are successfully uh, terminated then we are having uh, integrity uh, which uh, ensures uh, the perform of a service and to keep the quality of the connection on a level where uh, the information can successfully be exchanged in the shortest possible time and uh, the next one is uh, mobility that is basically the handovers uh, we already know that there are various uh, kinds uh, kind of handovers available in LD system like uh, TDD to FDD handover or TDD to uh, 3Z handovers or within TDD handovers so all this kind of handovers and uh, the failure reasons and causes and to fix the optimization process and to fix the issues will go through this mobility KPI and the last one is the availability which is nothing but the uh, network uh, availability part like uh, there shouldn't be any cell outages or the network outages uh, so if uh, we are having least outages we are having better performance but network performance so moving forward let's go uh, to understand the basic optimization workflow or the basic optimization process Initially, we do the analysis, then we uh, share the recommendation or we execute the recommendations, then we validate the performance is acceptable as per our requirements or the KPI needs, then we collect uh, the performance management stats and uh, we may prepare some reports to show the pre and post optimization um, standards and pre and post uh, situation of the network, how we have the pre values and after the optimization and execution of the recommendation how the network is behaving now it, it may be in a cell level so that's that's all about uh, the optimization workflow uh, it is basically called uh, as a performance management workflow we start with analysis move towards recommendation and execution of the recommendation validation of the performance then preparing reports or stats to ensure uh, the performance is acceptable so that's how the close uh, loop uh, happens in the optimization process and work workflow moving forward we have accessibility KPI uh, as the first KPI so uh, the formula of accessibility KPI is uh, 100 into uh, connection establishment success divided by uh, RRC connection uh, attempt minus re attempt into S1 signaling connection establishment success divided by S1 connection signaling connection establishment attempt into ERAP establishment um, initialization success initialization and ERAP establishment attempt initialization so that's all together uh, gives us uh, the uh, Neutron accessibility, uh, which is again combined with three things uh, RRC, the S1 signaling, and the ERAP. So, combine all together, we have this accessibility KPIs. Uh, 
so there are various phases in the accessibility kpi like we're having pacing then random access then rrc connection establishment then s1 s1 signaling signaling connection establishment and the last but not the least is the erab establishment or erab addition so this is the phase how accessibility uh, is divided uh, in the various steps pacing random access rrc connection establishment s1 signaling connection establishment and last one is erab establishment so these are the five uh, different uh, stages uh, which is combined to you know, know the entire accessibility of the network or the performance management of the entire accessibility um, parameters or the different phases of accessibility so moving forward we'll be um, addressing the issues happens in all this accessibility phases let's say during pacing uh, Pacing failure happens due to incoming S1 application protocol messes overload. If there is an overload by S1 application protocol, we get a failure in pacing. Or if pacing message is discarded by the radio wave station. So two possible reasons. During random access, if the condition uh, contention free random access preambles not allocated by the target radio wave station or the RBS or the E node B then we may have uh, this random access failure uh, due to uh, random access response message window expiry also we have a failure in random access procedure and also if we have in improper uh, random access preamble planning then also we can uh, get a random access failure uh, step number three or third stage where we are having this RRC connection establishment the failure reasons could be uh, connected user license exceeded let's say uh, the maximum number of license is exp expired or exceeded then we may have a failure or we can say the hard limit reached it reached in the e node b uh, the second failure reason in the rrc connection establishment would be high load or overload uh, the third failure reason could be uh, uh, due to RF or the RF normal, uh, abnormalities like uh, poor SINR, poor RSRP uh, that could uh, or you know like uh, pilot pollution so that may also cause this RF, RF abnormalities may cause the RRC connection establishment failure. And uh, last but not the least, if we have any wrong parameter settings, that we need to audit the parameters or the basic baseline parameters to check uh, the RRC connection establishment. Last but not the least, we need to check the uh, parameter settings. If there is any wrong setting of parameters, we can rectify them through network audit and we can put the uh, regular or recommended parameters to avoid RRC connection establishment failures. The next one would be uh, the S1 signaling. Uh, uh, S1 signaling, we are having also many failure reasons like uh, if there is a RBS timeout in initial context setup request from the MME, then there would be a failure. If the license expiry for number of ERAPs per user, then there would be a failure uh, in the S1 signaling. Or if there is an uplink downlink guaranteed bitrate resources overload, then we also experience this S1 signaling failure. Uh, last uh, but not the least is um, the abnormal ERAB establishment reasons. So uh, that happens uh, because of license for the ERABs per user. If uh, you know that is reached, then we have a failure. Then if there is uplink downlink uh, guaranteed B12 resource overload, then also we can have an initial ERAP failure. So that's all about the accessibility failure reason in pacing random access, RRC connection establishment, S1 signaling and uh, the ERAP establishment. Uh, moving forward, uh, in the next session, we'll be uh, addressing uh, the different counters uh, 
used or we can use all all the uh, uh, wide range of counters to address the accessibility so to start with let's say for paging we can get the counters like uh, paging uh, receipt and uh, uh, paging message uh, receipt and uh, paging s1 receipt also we can take the counters like uh, paging and s1 discarded messages to check the performance of pacing and S1 signaling. Uh, for random access, we need to check uh, random access attempt, contention based random access, and uh, success of contention based random access. Also, we can chill, uh, check the random access failure for contention based random access. So all three, uh, all these three counters will help us to understand and address the random access uh, counters. For uh, contention free random access, we have to check uh, the attempts, the allocations, the success of contention free random access. Also, if there is any failure, we can get in the failure counter, and um, uh, we can also check. Um, false preamble uh, attempt uh, that will also give us a detailed understanding of random access unassigned uh, contents and free random access false and uh, contents and free random access sum so these two counters um, a random access uh, unassigned for contents and free random access the sum and the false uh, we can have a detailed analysis on the contents and free random access so I hope you already noted down the counters. For pacing, we can check a pacing receipt and pacing discarded. For S1 signaling, we can check S1 uh, signaling received and discarded. For contention based random access, we can check uh, the attempts, the success and the failures. For contention free random access, we can check attempts, allocations, success, failures and we can also check the unassigned uh, due to false reason or total sum of unassigned contents and free random access. Uh, for RRC connection establishment, uh, we'll be discussing in the next session. So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please stay tuned with the next video. A lot more to come regarding the optimization and specifically we'll be completing the accessibility part. Along with that, we'll be moving forward towards sustainability. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like and share the video. Take care. Bye-bye.